New St. Patrick's Day next Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, March the 10th, 2021, and it is welcome to the Edwards Public Library Virtual Story Time. Today we're going to learn about St. Patrick's Day, and I'm wondering what color do you think people wear during St. Patrick's Day? Hmm, can you guess? It's green, and I didn't have a green out shirt, so I put some green necklaces on, and I've got some green maracas to shake the day away, or the story time away. So anyway, today we got to start with our welcome song. Let's put our maracas down, and the more we get together, are you ready? The more we get together, 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 the more. We get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, let's get ready for our first book. Oh, God. This book is titled On St. Patrick's Day. It also says El Dia de San Patricio. So it's a book that's in English and in Spanish. It's a bilingual book. Okay, let's see about this book. This book was written by Judy Zochi and illustrated, I mean, she did the pictures by B Rebecca Wallace. This holiday happenings and it examines the popular holidays. Okay. On St. Patrick's Day, you might wear a green sweater. Look at all the, everybody's wearing green here. They're eating green stuff. Green is identified with St. Patrick's Day because it represents the shamrocks or the three-leaf clover Ireland, in Ireland, which is called the Emerald Isle and Springtime. Or a leprechaun hat. The leprechaun is an Irish fairy and is often related to St. Patrick's Day. It is believed that a leprechaun is an unfriendly two-footed shoemaker. There's what a leprechaun looks like. And they say if you catch one, you can get his pot of gold. How many of you try to follow the rainbow to the end of the gold? Then do an Irish jig in honor of St. Pat. So everybody is dancing. Da -da 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 -da. No, not that song. On St. Patrick's Day, you could decorate with four leaf clovers. There's a four leaf clover. The hard to find four leaf clover is believed to be lucky. St. Patrick uses the four leaf clover to explain the Christian concept of the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. And a pot of gold. Legend has it, leprechauns have hidden pots of gold. If you catch a leprechaun, he has to tell you where he hid his gold. Ooh, I wonder what you would do with that gold. Then laugh with your family as Irish stories are told. So everybody's talking about Irish stories about St. Patrick's and um, O'Leary's and um, leprechauns. On St. Patrick's Day, you might see men in kilts. A kilt is a woolen pleated skirt with a plaid design that is worn by men in bag, in bag, Plaid design men in bagpipe bands and on special occasions. And here bag pops, pipes play. This musical instrument uses a bag that supplies a steady stream of air. The player pumps the air into the bag and then plays a melody with a wooden pipe called a chart chanter. I mean, have you all ever heard? A bagpiper you might want to look it up and listen to their sounds sometimes they sound really nice then 
watch as they march in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. There they are, marching in their kilts, blowing their bagpipes, wearing green. And see, that's an Irish flag. You can't see it now, but it's red, it's orange, white, and green. And some people put stickers on their faces. On St. Patrick's Day, you might make corned beef and cabbage. Yum. Irish Americans eat this old peasant dish on St. Patrick's Day as a reminder of their heritage. Other traditions, dishes eaten on this holiday include soda bread, bacon and cabbage, and stews. Yum. Love cabbage. With potatoes to eat. The potato was the main food source for the Irish. In 1984, a disease wiped out the entire Irish potato crop and millions died of starvation. Many people left and resettled in America and Canada. So that's why we're there. How many of you like potatoes? How many different ways can you eat potatoes? Then top it off the meal with an Irish soda bread treat. It's a very simple bread to make and it's yummy. Mm. That's the end. So we learned about St. Patrick's Day. Let's try another one. Well, we read about leprechauns. Let's see how to catch a leprechaun. This is words by Adam Wallace and pictures by Andy Elkerton. And it used to, this book used to be on the best, New York's best seller list, New York Times bestseller list. How to catch a leprechaun. Okay. Okay. The night is dark and the streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know. The leprechaun is here. Uh-oh. Ooh, looking for the leprechaun. Look at all the different clovers. I pull out all, I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair. And when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. That's the leprechaun talking. You'll never catch me in your trap. But yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. Oh my goodness, look at a green toilet. That does not look good. Oh no. House number one, I'm going in, really. That's your trap. I'm in and out without a doubt. And that was a snap. See, they put a red trap in there thinking they could catch him, and it snapped. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick. I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. So where is he? So he's right there, and he's supposed to get into the trap, and he's supposed to pull the trap. Does he do it? Nope. Another house. I fix your shoes. They're really quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. So he put all your shoes, all the shoes in the, the sink with the soapy water. Goodness. Now you're talking. Look at this. It's dandelion tea. But I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. So he's taking the tea. Cool. Uh-oh. I know you want my pot of gold. That orange cage was clever, but I've been alive 200 years. You can't catch me ever. Ha 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 ha. Now you're getting fancy, but I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy, fancy, dancy. Aw. She was shooting her unicorns at the leprechaun trying to hit him. Okay, it seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. So this thing goes around and kicks things. The cat, the mouse, the, 
mouse used to picture the cat and he's running in a circle and it makes it go up and then this kicks the bucket and the bucket comes down and it's supposed to trap the leprechaun in the big barrel but does not happen poor thing oh yeah i think that comes out too i do not know what okay your entire house is one big trap from the ceiling to the floor nice try indeed but soon enough I'll stroll right out the door. Totally safe place for leprechauns. Look at all the different traps. A weight, a shark, a laser, a robot, a computer. We'll see what happens. Oh, look, they're satellites. Or what are those called? Drones? There's another big one over there. Uh-oh. <gasps> the leprechaun be gone 3,000 gave me quite a scare. But without, without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. So he got to hug the wall. Wow. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible. That's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. Not any of that stuff worked in that house, did it? And he's over there over the fence. But who will that child be? Uh-oh, look, they're all designing leprechaun traps. Better luck next year. So he got to keep his pot of gold this year. So we'll see what happens next year. Okay, one more story. And I bet you'll like this one because I think it's one of your favorites. Pete the cat. The Oh, another one. The Great Leprechaun Chase by James Dean. Eat the cat. <gasps> Look at how pretty green. I love green. Eat the cat. Oh, I'll put it out there. Okay, let's see. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and Pete's teacher, Mrs. G, is teaching all about leprechauns. The only one time you can catch one is on St. Patrick's Day. A leprechaun will bring you good luck, Mrs. G says. Now everyone in the class wants a leprechaun. Pete gets a great idea. He will open a leprechaun catching business. <gasps> Do you think it'll work? Let's see. St. Patrick's Day comes and Pete gathers some supplies. He hangs a sign above his stand. Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. That will be easy, Pete thinks. Squirrel is Pete's first customer. I want a leprechaun, Squirrel says. I need a good luck for my test. Cool, I'm on it, says Pete. So what does he give him? Pete has a plan. He will follow a rainbow until he finds a leprechaun. <gasps> Finally, Pete arrives at the end of the rainbow, finds Clover the leprechaun next to a pot of gold. Pete sneaks up behind Clover, Swoosh! But Clover is too fast. Did you think you could catch me so easily, he asked. Dance, once there was a cat named Pete who thought nabbing some luck would be me. Then he happened upon a smart leprechaun who he'll find quite tricky to beat. Clover disappeared in a puff of green smoke. Peter will need a new plan, Pete. That afternoon, Gus visits Pete, Pete's lucky leprechaun catcher. I want a leprechaun, Gus says. I need the good luck for my bad band recital. So I think Pete's uh, platypus or something. Pete says, I'll see what I can do. So what's he gonna do now? Pete plans to lure Clover out with music. He plays a jaunty song on his guitar before long. Clover dances over to Pete. Just a little closer, Pete thinks. Okay. Oh no, Clover wraps up Pete with the rope. Peter has finally met his match. A crafty leprechaun he just can't catch. He'll never win. He better give in or, or find something else to snatch. That evening, Callie visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catcher. I want the leprechaun, says Callie. I need good luck for my tennis match. 
Hmm, says Pete. St. Patrick's Day is almost over. There isn't much time left to catch a leprechaun, but Pete won't give up yet. Here we try again. Pete sets a trap for Clover. Before long, Clover tiptoes up to the trap and sniffs the air. Hmm, I love candy, he whispers, peering under the box. Crash! Pete, Pete rushes over and checks underneath the trap, but it's empty. Clover skips away. Pete has tried many, many a plot, but still I haven't been caught. And it isn't a dandy. I even got candy while Pete ends up in a squat. Pete has an idea. He follows the trail of spilled candy to Clover's secret hideout. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Whoosh! He finally catches Clover. Why do you want me, Clover asks. I'm helping my friends who need some extra luck, Pete says. Lucky luck doesn't come from having a leprechaun, says Clover. You and your friends have each other. That already makes you as lucky as can be. Could Clover be right? Is everyone a lucky cat? A lucky cat doesn't need a lucky leprechaun. He lets Clover go. He decides he will be a good friend, be the good luck his friends need by helping them out himself. Pete helps Squirrel study for his test. Squirrel aces it. Pete helps Gus rehearse for the recital. Gus rocks it. Pete helps Callie practice her match. Callie wins it. Clover magically appears. Good job, Pete, says Clover. I have one more point for you. While Clover played hide and seek, Pete learned something unique. Lucky that you, the luck that you make beats luck that you take any old day of the week. Happy St. Patrick's Day. The end. Okay, we've got a song. It's about, it's the St. Patrick's song. It's to if you're happy and you know it. And it's if you're wearing green, do a jig. Okay, and then we're going to do different things with it. If I can remember. Okay. Are we ready? If you wear, if you're wearing green, dance a jig. If you're wearing green, dance a jig. If you're wearing green, but it waits. If you're wearing green, dance a jig, then smile and say, "Have a very happy Saint Patrick's Day." If you're wearing green, clap your hands. If you're wearing green, tap. Clap your hands if you're wearing green. If you're wearing green, dance a jig and smile and say, Have a happy St. Patrick's Day. If you're wearing green, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're wearing green, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're wearing green, dance a jig and smile and say, Have a very St. Patrick's happy St. Patrick's Day. Da, da. If you're wearing green, spin around. If you're wearing green, spin around. If you're wearing green, spin around. And say, have a happy smile, happy St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Now, I don't have it here, but the craft today is a little leprechaun magnet that you put together. So it's really cute and we only have 36, no 35. So it's first come first song. Don't forget to ask for them and then we will have them ready for you. And now it's time for the goodbye song and we will see you next week. We'll have another story time next week and it'll just be a fun one because some kids, some of you kids will be in spring break. So maybe you can come see us. Are you ready? Get your waivers ready. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Bye. <laughs> Love you guys. Miss you. Hopefully week after next, we maybe start having face-to-face. -face. We'll see. Bye.